Houston! Mayday! Our ship is under assault by amphibians, and they're hopping mad! <laughs> Look at all these great bugs! <laughs> An A number one top notch collection! Sorry, guys, steal your flies! Oh, that'd be fun, Jason! Let's make our own zoo! Our motto could be every bug under the sun. We could catch butterflies and bluebirds and crocodiles and boy mammoths. We're going to need a bigger jar. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful thing it is to hear the sound of children's laughter on such a glorious day. Look, Grandma, I caught some ladybugs. And an amphibious invader. <laughs> What fun! You know, I believe there's an old fish tank in the attic somewhere. A bit of dirt, a few plants makes a charming little creature home. It's called a terrarium. This way, you create a place that's just like the bug's home. It's nicer than a jar. But, Grandmom, there are a bunch of bugs. And one bug eater. Do we really need to make a special place for them? They're just bugs. Oh, bugs are God's creatures too. If you make them pets, you need to take care of them. The good book says a righteous man has regard for his animal. That means a good person makes sure his pets have homes where their needs are taken care of properly, so they're healthy and happy. Making a garden for them sounds complicated, Grandmom. I just want a good collection. But is a jar really a home, Poppet? If what you offer isn't a home, well, they should live free to find their own. I think a terrarium sounds very cool. Come on, Grandma, let's go find it. All right, come along. Let's get started. If I put them in a terrarium with dirt and leaves, they'll just hide. What's the point of having a great collection? I have regard for my animals. I just want to be able to see them. Ha! Gotcha! Wow, you're a big one. Let's sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. <laughs> Kevin Three Two One Captain's Vlog, Star Date Summer. We've just picked up Michelle, and Kevin is stuck in a jar. Again. Of course, we're not really worried. Once Kevin spent three days stuck in a bottle of lemon juice. Sure, he was all puckered up when he finally got out. But boy, could he whistle. Well, his bunk can be much smaller. There. I must have loosened it for you. Well, are you willing to help us? Help you? With what? Oh my! Kevin was supposed to show you something. Show her now, Kevin. Lost Cato Pillow. Wait, our mission is to rescue a lost kitty? A Cato Pillow, actually. And then return it safely to the Emperor of Planet Kennel. How fun! I'm great with animals. You should see my bug collection. I keep them in this jar, like the one Kevin was stuck in. Answers to 79. 79? What's that mean? We believe it's the poor creature's name. 79? Yuck. What kind of name is that for a little kitty? Well, it's a whole lot better than Zigil. I mean, for a kitty. Zigil is a perfectly acceptable name for a penguin, of course. What did you name your bugs? I didn't. Maybe I should have. What's this? When found, open locket for reward. 
We figure the Emperor must have added the reward later. And so, we've decided to add the reward notice to the new posters we're making as well. We've been posting them at roadside beacons all along the spaceways. We're coming up on another one now. Captain, we got an incoming message from Central Command. Ooh. <clears throat> Put it on screen with HD million point two stereo multi surround sound and 3D high definition supervision. Uh, how about on fax paper with toner? Uh, right. <laughs> hey, paper is very high tech. I've heard of people making airplanes out of this stuff. What's it say? It says that a mysterious figure was at the lounge this morning. Really? Yes. And he bought a gold locket from another customer for a golden caterpillar, the stranger had said. Wow, that sounds exactly like 79. Did they see which way he went? Toward the, Toward cat the catnip nebula. Stop that. This is my message, and I should be the one that gets to tell everyone what it says. Understand? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. All right, then. Now, where were we? Stranger, locket, golden nebula. Ah, here we are. <coughs> Sincerely, Commander Strap. Ah! I bet 79's at the Catnip Nebula. You know, I believe that you are correct. Then to the Nebula it is. Bonds! Now wait! I'm the captain. I get to yell something around here. Bird's eye! Bonds! I'll bet that there are more than four of them. There are precisely 157 caterpillars out there at the present time. Ha! Ah, I was right! How are we ever going to find number 79 in this swarm? How about we send Kevin out there as a big cat toy? Uh, negative, Captain. They're all cats, so they'll all want the cat toy. Okay, but one of them will be 79, right? I've got an idea. 79! Beer 79999! I said I was good with animals. Don't worry, 79. We'll take good care of you. You know, 79 isn't really a name. It's a number. I'll call you Goldie for your golden locket. All right, Goldie. Hold on. We're heading home. Bonsai! Everything is going exactly as planned. Soon the penguins will be penguins no more. <laughs> I can just hear those ridiculous penguins now. Get the reward! Get the reward! Hurry! Open the nugget, Smidgel! Or Blidgel! Or whatever your name is. Oh, come on now. You can go ahead and laugh. That was pretty funny. <laughs> good. Good. But not as good as the looks on the penguins' faces when they open the locket and poof! That was funny. You can laugh again. But, Master, you are a hamster. Uh, uh, see? Hamster! Of course I know that I'm a hamster! Don't you two remember putting that powder into the gold locket? The powder will turn anyone who touches it into a hamster. Remember? Oh, yeah. I bought that golden locket. To put the hamster powder in. Right. I knew, because I'm an evil genius, that when the penguins found that cat creature, they'd open the locket for the reward, touch the powder, and poof! Three, two, one, hamsters! No more penguins, no more problems. Uh, but why hamsters, boss? Because then those foolish penguins will finally know what it is to be me! <laughs> no! Stop that! 
the evil laughter I do by myself. <laughs> Captain Flog, thanks to Cadet Michelle, we've retrieved the missing pet and are flying just zippity kazoom to get her back home. Very strange. It's almost as if Goldie doesn't wish to return home. That can't be right, Doctor. There's got to be something else. Hmm. My readings indicate a high level of physical and emotional stress. Oh, I'm sure she's just anxious to get home. Guys, stop worrying. I'm the one that knows animals, remember? Hey, I just remember there's a reward in that locket. No, no, Captain. Technically, Michelle was the one who recaptured the creature. That's right. You earned it, Michelle. Ooh, open it. Open it. I don't want it. I didn't rescue Goldie for a reward. I did it because she's just so cute. Me two. Me three. Me four. Me 17%. Five. Five. Ugh. I've always been bad at math. For a place called Planet Kennel, there sure aren't very many animals around. Well done. I'm the Emperor of... There she is! You were very bad to wander off. The whole collection just hasn't been the same without you. Collection? Oh, yes. I've got the most extensive collection of cattle pillows in the galaxy, and 79 is an important part of it. Actually, Your Majesty, I kind of named her Goldie after her gold locket. How nice. Well, come inside. Come inside. Impressive, isn't it? I'm the only one to have cattle pillows organized into patterns. See? Blue, gold, blue, gold, blue, gold. There. The pattern is complete again. Wow, that's amazing! Yes, well, this kennel houses hundreds of animals organized into the most remarkable patterns. I don't understand why they haven't opened the locket. Hamster powder should be everywhere by now. No one can resist a reward. Can't we just make it open? You mean by remote control? Yes, yes, of course. Good call, mindless minion. Say goodbye to the penguins as penguins. Ten. Nine. Do you really think they're happy locked up in these cages? They don't look like proper homes for cattle pillows. They've never complained. Of course not. They can't tell you how they feel. Can we at least help you exercise them before we go? You mean play? Outside? Oh no! They'd make a mess of the yard! Anyway, I think they're right at home in their cages. But to be stuck in here just to be part of a collection seems... Come on now! I'm the Emperor! Obviously, I know what's best. You know, I'm great with animals. Besides, they may not look like it, but they're just a bunch of big bugs, right? Okay, that's good enough for me. I guess, but they're your bugs. You should care for them, shouldn't you? Three, two, one. Master, wait! The penguins are no longer there. They've left the planet. Oh, those penguins. You think you're so clever. To the penguins, who I think are so clever. To, to us! us. Huzzah! Huzzah! Actually, our experience success can be directly attributed to our impressive cadet, Michelle. To, uh... Whatever he said! Whatever, Whatever he, he said. said! Huzzah! To Goldie! To, to Goldie! Huzzah! Huzzah! Who, once again, is safely back home. A good person makes sure his pets have homes where their needs are taken care of properly, so they're healthy and happy. Captain, we've got to go back to Planet Kimmel. We've made a big mistake. Mistake? What? Did we leave my hair gel back there? No! We left Goldie back there. It's dark and cold and she never gets to go outside and play. Relax, cadet. The emperor said that he was great with animals. Goldie's in fine hands. Uh, pause. I've just heard from the admiral. We got an assignment to Planet Barbecue. Mmm, sounds zesty. Okay, everyone, to the ship. Wait, has anyone seen Cadet Michelle? <laughs> yes, sir, yeah, I did. Let her borrow my space bronco, too.
Hello, 79. Did I hear something about you wearing a golden locket? Well, I wonder where this came from. Maybe there's something written inside. Yes, I see that. Ooh, that means your plan can still work. Yes, I know. So now you'll probably want me to follow her? Actually, let's all follow her. Well? Emperor! Emperor! Young lady, I'm here, locked in a cage. Look at you! I can't believe I left you in this terrible place! No, wait! Don't touch the powder! Why have you become... a hamster? Oh no! Jason would just love this! What's with the hamster powder? I don't really know! It burst from the golden locket when I opened it! Ah, so that was the reward! What villain did this? Maybe this is my reward for being a villain! What do you mean? I hate being locked up in this little cage. Now I know how my pets must feel. Poor things. Look around you. I'm responsible for a far worse crime than hamster powder. I was given the great honor of having these creatures in my care. And look how I treated them. I didn't understand what their lives were like in these cages. This isn't a home. This is a prison. My grandmom told me a righteous man has regard for his animals. And I've only had regard for myself. Not like you, dear girl. I assume you've come back to help 70... I mean, Goldie? <laughs> Believe me, I'm still learning this lesson myself. I realize this is no way to treat pets. Goldie needs a proper home, so I came back to help her. Well, there's still time. Up high, there's a lever. And this place will go wild! Hurry! Goldie, hold on! Just to your right! Hurry! Aha! Uh -huh. I see you couldn't resist my reward after all. Now, which one of the penguins are you? All you hamsters tend to look alike, you know. It takes one to know one, Bert. Michelle, you're not a penguin at all. And don't call me that. When I'm in the suit, I'm the evil Lord Cavett. Huh? No, oh, uh, stay out of there. No, 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 that tickles. Stop no, it. Michelle! Oh, uh, Tolerant person. Guys, guys, settle down. It's me. Michelle! <gasps> Michelle! So you were changed into a hamster as well. And wait a minute, you got Kevin. It's a suit. Cool! Yes, but wait. Why are there five of you? Because one of them is me. <laughs> It's good to be tall. <laughs> You'd better run. Okay. Run! Remarkable! <laughs> <laughs> the size.
sunlight reverses the transformation. Gotcha! Well, that didn't go the way I'd hoped. <laughs> Get me out of here! Hold him! Hold him, Kevin! Hold him! <laughs> Why do I have this strange urge to run in a wheel like crazy, but not actually go anywhere? We're so sorry, Michelle. Actually, Michelle, I don't think that this is an ending. I think it signals a new beginning for all of us. This is going to be the best animal home in the whole galaxy from now on. Michelle, it's Goldie! Emperor, what's happening? Caught a lot of fireflies while I was gone. I almost hate to let these guys go. Well, we can't keep them caged up in a jar. But the terrarium I fixed up is so cool. I know, but it's still nothing like the real home. I guess the adventure you told me about made you think differently about animals, huh? I learned how important it is to make a real home for your pets. Well, we still have the best zoo ever, right in our garden. You said it, Jason. Could use a hamster, though. Jason! <laughs> <laughs>